Hi, welcome to an on shape video tutorial. I want to do the plastic basket now in on shape and I will go at least at first for the simpler solution. Okay, so let's have fun with on shape. Okay, so let's start with a sketch maybe on the front plane. So go for front plane. View normal to sketch plane and I need a spline and this could look something like this okay then add some constraints I need a tangency between this one and that one okay Add some dimensions. This might be 50. This might be 150. And this might be 150 as well. Okay, now let's adjust this a little bit, move that point a little bit up and maybe this a little bit down, for example, like this, okay. Now let's confirm the sketch and leave it. I need another sketch for profile on the same plane and I want to use that point so I need a circle which is right on that point you see you cannot snap on it so I have to use it like this then it's inside my sketch and then I can do a circle right here and the diameter should be let's say two millimeters and let's confirm this one and close it and I will need another sketch right there and I need a plane for this one so I will do a plane go for a plane make it not offset but curve point select the curve and the point you get a plane and I want to do another sketch on that plane and that would be a circle not here but on this one so let's you know with the sketch plane and you will see I can do a circle diameter again two millimeters and confirm. Now I got all the sketches I need. Okay, now I can do my revolves, my sweeps, and so on. And I need a pattern. So I will go for a pattern, a curve pattern. And I want to pattern, not a part, but a feature. And the feature would be that sketch, that circle. And along that line. And let's say, let's make 10. And confirm. Seems I... Okay. <laughs> That should be the path. Nope. And that should be not sketch one, but sketch two. Now it should work. Okay. 
and I will need a rotation axis and I will do the rotation axis in my sketch one let's make it visible and edit it and I need a rotation axis which goes from here maybe up to that point let's try to catch it yes and that should be for construction purpose only and leave the sketch now I got all my profiles and first I want to do let's say the sweep okay so go for a sweep and I want to make a solid and that solid would be with sketch free and the path would be sketch one and confirm I will make a circular pattern with the, with this one. Now let's make a revolve with sketch one. And the axis would be this one. And it should be a surface. So we have to select it. Okay. And confirm. Now cut surface I will thicken the surface so let's go for thicken and there you go the surface and I want to have 0 0.5 to one direction and 0 0.5 to the other direction and it should be a, of course a new body and okay Maybe let's hide part 2 and let's hide the surface and maybe hide part this part as well. Then I want to rotate all these circles and let's go for revolve. And I need this one. It should be a solid, yes. And it should that sketch region, this sketch region, that one. So today it seems a little bit slow. You have to make sure you got all the right elements and this one okay and not a sweep sorry I wanted to do a revolve one two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the row of axis would be this one. Please take note. I've created a whole lot of bodies or parts with this action. Okay, now I could not make a union with these because they are separated. Therefore I would need this one. And I want to show part one. Okay, and make a circular pattern with this one. So go for circular pattern and I want to pattern that part or body in this one and the axis would be this axis and let's say I do thirty two with equal spacing and I got a whole lot of more bodies and just confirm it 
Now I want to make a union. I could hide the planes. So just hide all planes. Okay. And I could hide all sketches as well. Hide all sketches. So let's go for a Boolean operation, which would be this one. Make I want to make a union and I will use this element and all the others, so just make a selection like this. Takes a while. Of course you do could do this all in one body. Okay, now confirm. Very nice. And now I want to intersect this part with that part. So go for Boolean intersect, select this part and that part. Of course it will take a while again. But in the end, it should work. Confirm. And I'm done. So, if you liked it, give it a like. Leave, hopefully, a nice comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my Facebook cat page, would be real nice. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.